What if you could figure out what people are searching for? Then you could really improve your marketing because then you could start to describe your service or your product or your program using the words that people are searching for so that they can find you and that they can understand what you're offering because they're using those kinds of words. They're thinking those kinds of words as they search. Well, today I'm going to show you how to use Google to find out what people are searching for. So I was teaching a class on this and one student uh, said that she wants to offer meditation healing. So let's use that example here. All right, so I'm in Google, google.com, and then I type it in, I type in meditation healing, but here's what I wanna show you. Uh, as I type it in, Google is going to give me, okay, is gonna give me these suggestions. These are search suggestions, because basically these are what people are searching for on Google um, based on the things that they're searching for most, or, or I should say, the things that are being searched for most are gonna show up at the top and the things that are being searched for less often will show up towards the bottom of this. But still, even if it's at the bottom of this, it is being searched for a lot because Google is suggesting it, okay? So look at this, Me meditation. So people are searching more for Mediterranean diet than they are searching for Mediterranean food than they are searching for Mediterranean. So meditation is even higher than that uh, when I start typing this in, so that's great. Meditation, okay. Now, what are people searching for when it comes to meditation? They're searching for music, they're searching for apps, and they're searching for meditation to help them sleep. So that's an important clue if someone wants to offer meditation type of services. If they can offer, if they can, if they can create a particular product or a particular service offering to help people sleep better using meditation, that's going to have more traction, more interest than if they were teaching on how to meditation for playing tennis better, or for, for example, right? So meditation, and I'm gonna start typing in healing. As I type, type this in, wow, okay, meditation healing. So people are searching that. So that's a good, that's a good clue, that's, a, that's, that's good news. So meditation healing. Okay, as I finish typing, okay, as I test, finish typing meditation healing, I can see that what are people really looking for when it comes to meditation healing? besides the, the, the term meditation healing, is music, YouTube, and techniques. All right, so if I'm gonna offer meditation healing as a service, then I should be aware that people are really looking for meditation healing techniques. That's the phrase that they're using. So if I could use that phrase in my marketing, I'm going to be more likely to be found on Google. I'm going to be more likely engaging with people in a way that they, they understand and, and uh, will be interested in. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use meditation healing. I'm gonna type, I'm gonna click the search to, to finish the search. Okay, here we are. The reason why it's showing me San Francisco is because I and showing me uh, businesses in SF, San Francisco, is because I live in San Francisco. Google knows that based on my IP address on my computer, so it's going to show me local results first. Okay, now let me let me before I click on any of these, I'm going to go down and look at at the bottom of the search results. They usually give me great more. Look at searches related to meditation healing, meaning these are what people are looking for when it comes to meditation healing. They're looking for techniques. They're looking, uh, healing, okay, they're using meditation to heal injury. They're looking for guided meditation healing. They're looking for meditation healing of cancer. After surgery, uh, again, music. They're looking for the science of it um, and a particular type of Chinese bamboo flute. That's interesting. So do you see, this? these are very interesting and helpful for us to understand how do we shape our services. So even though even though you might offer, you're really good at meditation healing, you, you offer that, well, healing for what? Now we know after surgery, cancer, injury, is what people are really interested to use your services for. So can you shape your service offering? It's not that you only have to offer these things, but if you make sure you also offer these things as a separate service, like with a separate web page, you're gonna be much more likely to be discovered um, in your even in your local area, because as you can see, Google gives me local results, uh, so that you're going to be uh, it's going to be easier for you to build your business as a result. Okay, all right. Now the other thing we want to look at is the first couple of, re of results, because there's a reason why Google puts these first. 
Google actually search engines make it secret exactly what it is that um, uh, they how they rank results but one of the the ranking factors is that people are actually clicking through on on these things and that's why Google continues to put it up there if nobody people search it and nobody clicked on this um, before long Google will rank it lower and lower and lower and lower the other reason why it's ranking so high is because other websites are linking to this and other websites are linking to this with the terms meditation healing or healing I guess in this case healing meditation and if other websites are linking to it with that phrase or that word then Google says well then that must mean that that is what uh, people believe are important that's why they're linking to it right so uh, we can click through let's click through to this to this one and what are we looking for now if I'm trying to offer a meditation healing service I'm looking to see if um, if it is a service or not uh, and and in this case it's not a service it's a it's an article and if I want to um, if I if I want to write an article that gets ranked highly a very good idea would be to read this article um, and see if I can improve upon the ideas in this article make it make my article my version of this article more interesting or more entertaining I'm not saying to copy this article and to rewrite this article I'm saying um, when it comes to uh, the general topic of this idea could I even just with the idea of healing with the power of meditation heal your body with your mind right okay what would I say based on my own training and experience if I were in this field of what would I write? What, what are some of my ideas? Before I even read this article, I should write down some of my ideas. And then I should go ahead and read this article and say, oh yeah, that was a really good idea too uh, about this or about that. Let me see how I could say it in my own words. Let me see how I could frame it from my own experience. Uh, that's a good idea. Or maybe I read this article and find that, oh, you know, she really doesn't address this other topic that I think is important, then I should put it into my own article about it. Basically, if you can improve upon the first couple of Google results on this keyword, right, this key phrase, then um, and, and share your article and, and, talk, and share it with other websites who might want to link to it, then you will also show up highly uh, for this as well. But here we are uh, in this video, I particularly want to give you suggestions of how you could offer a service. Um, how could you discover services for this? Okay, so if I want to offer meditation healing, I'm thinking about services I could offer. There are words you could type, continue typing. For example, uh, healing service is obviously one example. Meditation healing service, okay. And then, of course, you're going to come up with um, churches because service could mean, um, you know, a church service, right? Um, but let me let me search meditation healing workshop, okay? Workshop, whoops, because people pay for workshops, okay? Meditation healing workshop. Now, I'm going to be. I encourage you to use words that are things that people pay for. Again, service, um, workshop, coaching training retreat mentoring are some ideas right so meditation healing workshop oh okay chopra center now deepak chopra is very famous so no wonder it's showing up highly here um, best meditation retreats in the u.s okay great so that's that's um you might be able to get some ideas on how where you could do your retreats or what what if you look at if you research these retreats what are they offering in terms of the retreats that make people think it's one of the best ones um, okay, so here's a workshop and you could look at this and say, wow, this is ranking highly. So there must be some reason people must really like this in some way. Um, uh, and, you know, you can basically get some ideas. Well, there's not much you can learn from here. But look, healing techniques to relieve from worry, pain, fear, and stress. Okay, so that's helpful to know. Um, okay, now let me go and, and type in the word fee then it can give me a sense of the pricing of this okay um if i click on this okay all right here we go and then i use command uh, here's the key use command f on your keyboard or if you're on a windows it's control f will basically pull up you can see here you can it pull up, pulls up a search 
box here and I can type in the word fee to find ah where is on the page is the word fee located ah it's $120 for a meditation healing is it a meditation healing workshop I'm not sure I would have to read this or here's another one intuitive so by doing this by using the word fee or workshop or service or coaching and then including the word fee it's going to give you ideas of what are people charging for this what are they including in their service offering uh, that they're charging for does that make sense and remember again that uh, oh another another one would be program meditation healing program okay and then fee okay course program right uh, healing recovery and uh, includes program and the fee okay so you're getting all this information from your niche mates about what they're charging and what they're offering and how they're offering it remember one last thing before I end this video is that do not be intimidated by seeing all these other offerings you should be celebrating when you see competitors or I like to call niche mates because if you were the only person in the world to be offering your service there were no other competitors and you feel so relieved there's no other competitors it's probably not a good business decision why because if there are no other competitors for the service you're trying to offer it's probably because other people have tried to offer it nobody bought it and so they went out of business or not enough people bought it so they went out of business and now you come along trying to offer the same thing as the the only person in the world again or um uh, yeah, that's that's probably the if there's not enough if there are more competitors and there if there are more niche mates, it's probably because enough people are buying it so that enough people are staying in business to be continuing to offer the service. And do not worry that there are so many competitors, it's a crowded market. You really don't know yet until you start offering the service or until you start talking with your niche mates and finding out what their offering is really popular and therefore you might want to offer it in your area or to your specific audiences all right so do not be intimidated by competitors or niche mates celebrate them and learn from them see what they're offering that you could borrow from uh, in your own way to offer in your own way uh, see what they're charging and how you could price it similarly either lower if you have less experience or more if you have more experience and more credibility so that makes sense. So I look forward to seeing your um, questions, if you have any questions on this, and to seeing how this can help you build your business and grow with less stress and more success. Uh, and remember, it comes back to service. We are doing this using this Google search so that we can find out what people are looking for so that we can offer something that is of service to them. Because if you're offering something that people aren't looking for, you're not truly serving people anyway, right? So you serve what people are looking for so that they can feel served, they can understand your service, use it, and therefore really benefit. In a future video, I will also be teaching you how to use Google Keyword Planner, which is another way to discover more about what people are searching for. But I think just with this, they'll give you a good idea, a really good start. So I look forward to your comments and your questions, and until the next video, be well.